Lecture 4.6 Related Rates. This photo and the next two were taken on the same day at Olympic National Park in the state of Washington. This is the view from the top of Hurricane Ridge. This next picture is the whole rainforest. This area gets more rain than any other spot in the continental United States. There is a spot in Hawaii that gets more rain. And finally, this is Agate Beach, still in Olympic National Park. This park is unique in that you can get so many different kinds of climates in the same park. First, a review problem. Consider a sphere of radius 10 centimeters. If the radius changes 0.1 centimeters, which is a very small amount, how much does the volume change? We use an equation to relate radius to volume. In this case, the equation for the volume of a sphere, V equals 4 thirds pi r cubed, we take the differential of both sides using the chain rule on the right hand side and then we plug in 10 centimeters for r and 0.1 centimeters for dr the small change in r and our result is dv equals 40 pi centimeters cubed the volume would change by approximately 40 pi centimeters cubed. Now suppose that the radius is changing at an instantaneous rate of 0 0.1 centimeters per second. This is possible if the sphere is a soap bubble or a balloon. Once again, we start with V equals 4 thirds pi r cubed. This time, however, we take the derivative of both sides with respect to time. So we get dv dt equals 4 pi r squared dr dt. Once again, notice the use of the chain rule on the right-hand side. dv dt equals 4 pi times 10 centimeters squared times 0 0.1 centimeters per second. We use 10 centimeters as the radius and 0.1 as the rate of change of the radius. So we get dv dt equals 40 pi cubic centimeters per second. The sphere is growing at a rate of 40 pi cubic centimeters per second. Note, this is an exact answer, not an approximation like we got with the differential problems. example. Water is draining from a cylindrical tank at 3 liters per second. How fast is the surface dropping? We know that the volume is changing at a rate of negative 3 liters per second, so we have dv dt equals negative 3 liters per second, or negative 3,000 cubic centimeters per second. We want to find dh dt, that is the rate of change of the height. So we need an equation that relates the height and the volume. We can use v equals pi r squared h, which is the formula for the volume of a cylinder. Taking the derivative of both sides with respect to time, we get dv dt equals pi r squared dh dt, where r is a constant. Now, plugging in negative 3,000 cubic centimeters per second for the rate of change of the volume, we saw for dh dt and get dh dt equals 
three, negative 3,000 cubic centimeters per second divided by pi r squared. And since we don't know what r is, this is as far as we can go on this problem. The steps for related rates problems. Step one, draw a picture or sketch. Step two, write down known information. Step three, write down what you're looking for. Step four, write an equation to relate the variables. Step five, differentiate both sides with respect to t. And step six, evaluate. Here's another example, the hot air balloon problem. Given that theta equals pi over 4, and the angle is changing at a rate of 0.14 radians per minute, so d theta dt equals 0.14 radians per minute. How fast is the balloon rising? We want to find dh dt, so we need a formula that relates the angle theta and the known value, 500 feet, and the value we're looking for, which is h. The tangent definition will do that, because tangent theta equals opposite over adjacent. So in this case, tangent theta equals h over 500. taking the derivative of both sides with respect to t, so we have to use the chain rule on both sides, we get secant squared theta d theta dt equals 1 over 500 dh dt. Of course, 500 is a constant. Then substituting in pi over 4 for theta and 0.14 for d theta dt, Now we have to figure out what secant of pi over 4 is. Looking at our 45 degree triangle at pi over 4, secant is 1 over cosine or radical 2. So we have radical 2 squared times 0.14 times 500 equals dh dt or 140 feet per minute equals dh dt. So the balloon is rising at a rate of 140 feet per minute at that instant. And here's another example, the truck problem. Truck A travels east at 40 miles per hour. Truck B travels north at 30 miles per hour. How fast is the distance between the trucks changing six minutes later? We know rate times time equals distance. And so for truck A, 40 times one tenth, which is six minutes or one tenth of an hour, equals four. So truck A has gone four miles. For truck B, we have 30 times 1 tenth, or 3. So truck B has gone 3 miles. So the distance between the two is determined by the Pythagorean theorem. So we have 3 squared plus 4 squared equals z squared. 9 plus 16 equals z squared, 25 equals z squared, 
5 equals z. So the distance is 5. Now we need an equation that relates x, y, and z. x squared plus y squared equals z squared will do nicely. Taking the derivative of each term with respect to t, we get 2x dx dt plus 2y dy dt equals 2z dz dt. We can divide everything by 2. Plug in dx dt as the rate of truck A, which is 40. dy dt is the rate of truck B, which is 30. dz dt is, of course, what we're looking for. So filling in everything we know, we've got 4 times 40 plus 3 times 30 equals 5 dz dt. Or 250 equals 5 dz dt. 50 equals dz dt. So the distance between them is increasing at 50 miles per hour. And yes, looking at this picture with the right triangle, the 3, 4, 5 triangle, you probably could have guessed the answer. The problem would have been more complicated if the angle had not been 90 degrees. You would have had to use trigonometry to solve it.